Hey guys, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. It has been a hot minute, a serious hot minute since I have uploaded a video. I've had so much going on in my life over the past, it's been like two months since I filmed, so, or uploaded, so about two months. It's been a hectic, kind of crazy two months and I really just wanted to jump on camera to update you guys about what's been going on in my life, uh, where I've been, why I haven't been uploading, um, so on and so forth. I had to get ready for the day anyway, so I figured what, I would just film it. Well. I really shouldn't say I had to get ready. It's a Sunday at 1.59, almost two o'clock in the afternoon, but um, I just wanted to play around with makeup and I figured I'd film it and just update you guys about where I've been. So um, before I do get into it though, please give the video a thumbs up, like it. I would definitely appreciate it. Leave comments down below as well as subscribe. Um, that is how everybody gets noticed nowadays on YouTube. And I really honestly, while I love doing YouTube, I would love to get more views and that's what I'm trying to do. So please support me, give it a thumbs up, like it comment and subscribe <laughs> um, without further ado i'm just gonna get onto the video because this intro is already a hot mess thanks you know what i'm just gonna do my makeup while <laughs> while i chat just update you guys about where i've been um, and i need to prime i'm gonna prime my usual um smashbox primerizer all over my face and then in my t-zone i'm gonna go in with the becca Ever met poreless priming. I haven't used this yet on my channel, but I've been loving it. It is a travel size. I got this before I went on my vacation to Thailand and I've been loving it. Um, so I use that in my T-zone, put this all over. And I have already um, done my usual skincare. So um, today is gonna be probably a really long chit chat get ready with me. Um, if you aren't interested in knowing what's going on in my life and you just wanna see the makeup, definitely just keep fast forwarding. Um, but it's gonna be a long one because it's my first time back on YouTube in a hot minute. Um, I have not uploaded in, it's been like two months. It's been, it's been a while. Um, and that's just due to a lot of factors. You know, I had some things going on in my life in July with work that um, kind of got me in a bad place and I just wasn't really too happy with a lot of things, just work life, all of that. Um, but then in August, I did go on my trip to Thailand to my brother's wedding, his second wedding, not his second wife, just second wedding in the course of weddings um, because they did get married in Switzerland, which we didn't go to because that was just a court ceremony. Um, and then they had a reception here um, up in Pennsylvania in Wellsboro, Pennsylvania, where my parents own a hotel. And then they had their final ceremony, reception, all of that, like the traditional one in Thailand in August. And then after that, I've just had like a bunch of crazy things going on. So I'm just here to update you guys on all of that. I'm not gonna be using too many new products in this video. I'm not really into doing too many actual product reviews anymore, simply because it just it's really costly and I've not been getting like PR from makeup brands. Um, I have been getting some PR from like fitness brands, but not too much from makeup brands. So I don't really want to film too many of those. I just want to do more like actual tutorials because I feel like YouTube has kind of gotten away from tutorials and it's more just like challenges and um, all of, and like reviews, which are super fun to watch. Like, don't get me wrong, but I'm not in a financial place to where I can just keep going out and buying new products. Um, anyway, so I'm just going to kind of jump into it. I just primed my face. I will tell you guys, if I don't explain what product I'm using, I'll just put like a little picture either up in this corner or up in this corner. Um, and I definitely will leave all the products down in the description box below, but a lot of them are gonna be the same products that I've been using in my videos. Um, the only thing that probably will be different is possibly my foundation because I have been, um, I did get the Dior back, um, Backstage Face and Body Foundation in two shades, two N as well as three W. Um, oh, I do have my Laura Mercier. Flawless Fusion, and this is my baby. I love it. Um, so I'm not quite sure, but I'll 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 tell you guys when I get to it. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna kind of just go with it, go with things. Yeah, and just update you guys about what's been going on. Yeah, I haven't really been on YouTube too much, um, and I have been getting some questions just from the few people who are tried and true um, followers, um, people who you know I definitely do appreciate and who do support me. Um, so I'm just priming with my Too Faced for This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer. Great concealer, because I definitely haven't had this on my channel. Um, I'm sure if you watch YouTube makeup tutorials, this is a bomb concealer. They have a million different shades. So if you're super you know, fair skinned, if you have super deep toned skinned, this amazing, like hands down amazing for priming, for concealing, for 
sculpting, cutting the cheekbone. Ignore this guy right here. My face is breaking out for some reason. <laughs> um, this is so good. Um, anyway, yeah, so I haven't really been on YouTube or doing too much recently, filming wise, um, for just a couple of reasons. I've just been really busy in my own personal life, like with my actual job, as well as, you know, personally, I went on vacation for like two weeks in August. And then also because, um, you know, I have some content that is filmed and pre-recorded. Pre I just haven't edited it because my computer decided that it wanted to crap out on me. Um, so I did have a MacBook. Um, and I apologize if I say um a lot. I'm just, again, getting back into the routine of filming, essentially. So it's just awkward when I'm just talking to a camera, when I'm used to actually talking to a person. Yeah, so my computer has decided that it wanted to crap out on me which happens, I've had my computer for a long time, like a long time. I had my previous MacBook for almost 10 years. I got it, geez, um, I got it right, I think it was either after my freshman year of college or like during my freshman year of college and it just, it's shot. I can't edit anything on it. So I've been kind of contemplating whether or not I wanted to get a new MacBook. You know, they are really expensive, the, the cheapest model. Um, I'm not talking about like, a, I wanted to get a MacBook Pro because that's most of the editing that I use or editing tool software um, is best suited with a MacBook Pro. I can't really do too much on an Air or just like a regular MacBook. It definitely is a cheaper option to go that way, but the programs are just much, much, much slower and I can't, I am like the most impatient person in the world. I just can't, I'd rather pay more money for better value. So I've been contemplating getting a new one for two months. Um, a couple of the videos that I've done prior to this, I did just edit on my iPad and it's worked out fairly well, but the content that I've been wanting to up, um, upload in terms of my trip to Thailand and just more artistic editing that I wanted to do, I can't really do on my iPad because it's very limiting. It doesn't allow you to put like certain sounds on there. It doesn't let you put like put a picture over top of a picture. It's just really limiting. Now, if you are, if you have an iPad and you're looking to do videos and you're limited with cash and everything, it can be great. You can do basic tutorials if you're looking to do just like a makeup tutorial or really any type of tutorial that doesn't include having to do extras, like putting a picture over picture, putting background noise and all of that. Um, so for somebody who is just interested in doing tutorials, you can certainly get the job done, but I didn't really just want to do that. I'm not one of those people. I'm certainly a perfectionist, like true and true. I am a perfectionist. So I just haven't really been in the mood to upload because my computer crapped out. So I finally got in the mood, um, you know, Apple goes through, I don't know too much about the products. My boyfriend is an Apple junkie, so he's just been updating me throughout the past couple of months about, oh, you know, they always do an announcement in June and then they always do an announcement in September for the new phones and all of that. And honestly, I'm not one of those people, I don't really care about getting the brand new phone or the brand new watch. Although I will tell you, I am definitely getting new Apple watch. I do have this one. This is the newest one to come about besides the one that was just announced. Um, and I'll tell you, I'm definitely getting a new Apple Watch. Maybe not as soon as it launches, but eventually, because the heart rate monitor on it for fitness, if you guys are fitness junkies, the heart rate monitor is bomb. It's so good. It's supposed to calculate your, before I jump in, I'm gonna use the Jaclyn Hill palette as well as my Carly Bible Deluxe palette. And I will take, again, a picture of it and I'll show you the shades that I am using. So, it will show you, I think the new one, it's gonna be a lot more accurate when it comes to calorie counting. That has been my biggest frustration with the one that I currently have. It's hard to actually um, get true calorie counting. And while I'm not like super concerned with the amount of calories that I'm burning because my, my goals in fitness have kind of changed, I'm not really looking to, I'm not, I mean, I haven't really changed. I've never really, really been looking to cut weight. I've always been lucky to just pack on weight. I still wanna get more accurate point about where my calories are and what how many you know the amount of effort that I'm exerting when I do lift and I do run which is rare like I don't I don't run um but my my watch currently just keeps shutting off randomly like it's it won't shut off but I'll tell you it just it stops like I'll, it'll be halfway through a workout and then I'll say that my heart rate's at 50 beats per, per beats per minute beats per second whatever it is and I can tell you 
no, when I'm drenched in sweat in my, and I can like manually calculate my heart rate here. Um, and again, this is kind of like an estimate, but it's more accurate than that. I can tell you I'm normally at like 130, 140 beats per minute. And for this to tell me that I'm not, and I'm at 50, that's not right. So I really want to get the new one. Um, but anyway, I'm just kind of rambling on. I, you know, Nick and I, my boyfriend, if you don't know who Nick is, uh, we went to Apple because I've just been, I was like, you know what, I just need to bite the bullet. I need to get a new MacBook. It is sitting back there um, because my other one just is it's done. It's like so done. And Apple has this great program now. I don't know if it's a new program, but they definitely have one where it's a give back program. So you, I mean, if your laptop isn't sellable, like mine is 10 years old, I'm not going to be able to sell it to anybody. It's hardly working. It turns on, but it's hardly working. You can give it back to them and they will recycle it for a certain amount of money. They can recycle any product for up to $250. So mine, I was able to take it in, um, get 50 bucks for it and just put it towards this. Now, if you're interested in getting a product for Apple, I highly recommend it, especially for people who are like, oh, I don't know if I really want to get Apple. Like, is Apple really worth the price point? Yes. Yes. I'm an Apple junkie. I've had HPs in the past. I've had um, like non-Apple products. And I can tell you my computers that I've had in the past just for doing basic work, like surfing on the internet. This is back in the day. Um, doing like college reports, all of that have only lasted me at most a year and a half. And my, my last MacBook lasted me almost 10 years. So you can either spend $300, $400 on an HP, which will last you a year and a half, or you spend $1,200, $1,300, $1,400 on a MacBook and it's gonna last you 10 years. Like that's kind of up to you what you wanna spend your money on. So I went in and I was gonna get the one that's $1,299, just a basic MacBook Pro. I figured I can, cause that's what I had before and it worked, um, but what I'm looking for and my patience level, you know, has definitely decreased <laughs> throughout the years. Um, I met with, obviously I brought Nick with me cause he's like a technology junkie. And I met with the pro that's over there and he was like, you know, you can either get the pro, um, the, I mean the 1299 base model, which is going to be a good computer, but for longevity purposes, it's probably not going to last you as long as you want. Um, for a year, it'll work really well for what you're looking for it to work for. It'll definitely get the job done, but it's probably not gonna, you know, after a year, after a year and a half, when you have a couple of videos on there and, you know, you're taking up space, it's going to slow down. And, you know, from what I'm hearing from you, from what he was hearing from me at the time, that was a big important fact, and it definitely was. He said, so if you're looking for one that's a little bit faster, you have to go with a higher model. And the $12.99 and the $14.99 price point, while they're obviously, $200, $300 different, wait, $12.99. It was $12.99, $15.99, so $300 price point jump. He was like, um, he said, that is only for storage. Like the actual, I'm, uh, I'm gonna tell you, I'm not technolo technologically advanced guys. Like, I don't know what you wanna call it, but um, he was telling me that, that the jump there is only for the amount of storage and amount of things that you can actually have on your computer. But if you have a separate hard drive that you upload your files to, then there's no point in just paying the 300. If you want to see an, an actual difference in your computer, then you need to go up to the higher processing power, gigahertz, I don't know. Um, but they explained it to me and it made sense. So I had to go from the one where I originally thought it was gonna be $12.99. I went up to the one that's actually $17.99. So yes, it's $1,800. Yes, I understand. It is a month's worth of rent. But guys, I am so happy with what I'm doing. Like I'm run, um, I don't have Final Cut Pro uploaded, um, uploaded, um, downloaded on it quite yet, just because I wanna see how the iMovie is on this. And so far I'm loving the iMovie. Um, Photoshop has been great. Everything's really just been spot on with it. So I am very, very, very happy. Now keep in mind guys, again, I'm doing things that probably a lot of people aren't doing. A lot of people aren't going to be uploading videos and editing and doing all of that but if you're like a gamer or if you are doing videos um definitely go with one that has a stronger build to it so you're gonna need to get the 1799 or the two thousand dollar model because it's just it's a lot more powerful and over time it's not gonna crap out on you essentially <laughs> it's gonna continue working the way that you want it to work for five to seven years that's what he said apple's guarantee is a five to seven year um period after that you're probably gonna have to upgrade but again even if I only get seven years out of my computer, that's what, $150 a year that I'm spending, it's worth it. 
um, yeah, so that's where I've been in terms of like my actual computer. So I haven't uploaded because of that. And then, you know, I do have, like I said, an actual full-time job. And I don't know if I mentioned it on my channel. I do work for a health and fitness company. Uh, it's, it's a pretty well-known brand. Um, it's, it's a great company to work for, but I did recently move from Texas from the East, or moved to Texas from the East Coast, which I gotta tell you has been like, it's been different. I will tell you that. Um, thinking about the differences, not even just like from the work side of things, but just because of living, the differences between living in Texas, living on the East Coast. First and foremost, I don't ever get to see my friends and my family, which can definitely be like difficult. Um, I definitely miss my friends. I definitely miss my family. Um, I didn't really go see my family too often when I was living up in Maryland anyway, because they lived a couple of hours away, but like it's hard not seeing your friends. I used to, I used to work with a lot of my friends. So it's weird not going into work and seeing those people that you're used to seeing every single day. It's also weird not being able to vent to the friends that you used to see every single day. A lot of them worked, again, like I said, with the same company that I work with, so any frustrations that I ever have with work or anything, or like I would be able to walk 10 feet down the hallway and they're right there and be like, oh my gosh, can you believe this is happening? And I can't do that. <laughs> um, and don't get me wrong, like I love what I do, I love my job. Um, I will tell you, I work for a corporation. Corporations are always a little bit difficult because there's the people that oversee you in your direct building and there's people that oversee them that are also kind of in the same area. And then you have people that work in corporate, corporate people that work just in the same region as you. There's just a lot um, that happens. And I'm sure that people who work with me will probably watch this video. And I think that it's, you know, it might be good for them to hear that pe people are going through the same thing that they are. Um, I love my company, but the shift down to Texas has been different. Um, this region is definitely run much differently than I'm used to. Um, I think that with any, company you have the difference between art and science with with any business really like there's an art side and there's a science side and while I am really good at the science side I as a person just appreciate the art side a lot more because that's the team member side it's it's the caring about your member side it's just just the caring loving factor and that's just what I specialize in um, yes I'm good at numbers like that's just my how, how my brain works I've always been a very analytical person but my heart that my heart's on the side <laughs> my heart has always been on the art side um, you know it doesn't matter a lot of these numbers that people come up with if you're working at a company there are budgets that you have to hit there's numbers you have to hit obviously budget it's business you have to hit those numbers but to me it's to me it, just, it doesn't matter if you're if the people that you're working with or the people that you're working for or what you're doing overall doesn't matter like we work in health and fitness because we want to actually help people be healthy and if those people aren't happy or if your team members aren't happy it doesn't matter at the end of the day if they're working 40 hours a week if they're working 80 hours hours a week if <laughs> if you're pulling in a million dollars per month like it doesn't matter because those people aren't happy so it's just it's been a lot over the past couple of months and i gotta say because again because i'm sure that there's ooh, I have tan hands going on big time. Um, so I'm sure that the people who I work with are probably gonna watch a portion of this video because I'm gonna put it in the title. Um, I am very happy with where I work. Like, don't get me wrong. I've been working for this company for five years and I'm, I'm, very, I am, I'm actually very happy with where, where I work. Um, and my actual direct boss and boss, I don't like people calling me my boss, but um, the people that I work for directly are amazing. Like amazing, my, my GM is hands down uh, amazing like I can go to him I can talk to him about anything he's just like he's just a great dude um just how this region is run just a little bit different and just Texas in general is a little bit different you know people value different things down here than what oh I did not come crease so just how things are run is just a little bit different down here um again like I said there's art and there's science to everything and the region I came from was very um, art based so it's just it's been it's been different coming down here and having to question why a lot of times and people down here are very people in texas are like from where i come from they're very emotional like very emotional like very sensitive um east coast is not that way you're on the east coast people they are more business minded but we are very much more like direct we don't like drama we don't like we don't like any of that bs extra stuff it's just not our thing um, you know, where, how, where I was raised, how I was raised, which is very different than I think how people were raised down here. They're just a little bit much more in tune with their emotions. And I think that it's harder for people to separate personal from business here. 
and people just want to like it's just it's just different down here I don't know it's just it's just different um, and I like Texas people are very nice but it's just it's different down here so again I just I've just been dealing with with things at work um, with having to really acclimate to to different um, cultures and different ways of thinking because it's just it's different you know Texas as a whole because I'm gonna kind of just focus on that right now I don't really want to talk too much about my actual job job but Texas is depending on where you are it can either be very similar to the East Coast, East Coast which is a little bit more open-minded a little bit more liberal um, which I okay I'm, I, I don't like to talk about politics here but um, I do I am very independent in case anybody was wondering I am very independent um, in terms of like I can kind of lean one way or the other depending upon the topic but for the most part i consider myself myself more democratic more liberal um and down here just depending on where you are you either get a lot of liberals or you get a lot of like conservatives and when i say conservatives i mean like true hard conservatives like what you see on the news yes but at the same time it's not always like that um you know i was out one day um i'm not gonna say where i was and this person made some comments he was an elderly white gentleman um that were too nice towards me i'll just say that just was not too nice something that i never would have heard on the east coast and you know me being me from the east coast i definitely said something back i was like excuse me you can't talk to me like that and essentially he made a comment of you're a woman yes i can uh no we live in 2018 you know just because i'm a woman doesn't mean you could say anything like f you like I've never dealt with certain things down here East Coast is not like that East Coast definitely has its own issues but as you can tell I have a lot of frustrations regarding moving down here um, I really shouldn't say frustrations moving down here just it's a lot of acclimating to get used to um, anyway on a more positive note last month again another reason that I haven't really been uploading besides all the stuff that I've been going through at work um, I went to Thailand last month so uh, my brother got married for I guess the second time they did the traditional ceremony so his wife is Thai um, traditional Thai um, and they did have a ceremony here they live in Th they live in Switzerland both of them by the way they met in Switzerland um, but we went to Thailand and well they met in Switzerland got married there like legally at a court and then here back in um, back in April yeah like early April they got married up in Wellsboro, Pennsylvania, which is t really tiny, or they had a, you know, just our, our little tiny um, reception at my parents' place. And then they had the traditional wedding here, or here, in Thailand. So Nick and I went for a couple of weeks to Thailand, which was super different. Um, if you know me at all, or if anyone here knows me at all, you know I'm terrified, terrified of flying, like terrified of flying. Um, so to know that I had to fly, to Thailand, which is literally the other side of the world. <laughs> what? Yeah. Um, it was a 25 hour flight. We had to go from Houston um, International to, it was a 15 hour flight um, to Taipei, Taiwan, where we had a layover. And then it was another four to five hour flight um, no, it was an 18 hour flight from here to Taipei, I think, 18 hours. Then it was a four or five hour flight to Bangkok. And then we had to drive from Bangkok to Pattaya or Pattaya. I don't know what it's called. We went there and the, um, they had the actual wedding in Pattaya, Pattaya. Nick and I left here on a Tuesday night, about a month ago, I think it was on the 15th, on a Tuesday night. Actually, no, we arrived there. We missed all of Wednesday. Like, Wednesday disappeared. Wednesday didn't exist for us because we are 12 hours ahead. So Wednesday somehow disappeared. Um, we were at the resort in Pattaya for Thursday, Friday. They had the wedding on Saturday, which was super interesting. And I will I will actually be uploading an actual vlog about this. But that's going to be after this. Because I want that to be just, like, a little bit more of a fun vlog. So I'll upload that about the actual trip and pictures and everything. Um, yeah, so that the wedding was super fun. We couldn't stay too, too long. We actually went until only like eight o'clock at night. I think it started at like four. Um, and then we flew out the next morning. We left at like 4 a.m. because we were gonna go visit the Fifi. I think they call it Fifi or Pee Pee. I'm just gonna say Fifi though. Fifi Islands, um, which when you look up pictures of Thailand, that's typically what you see. It's like Fifi Islands or Koh Samoy. 
and it was super cool. So we had to fly from Bangkok to Phuket and then from Phuket we had, so we were staying on a resort that was on Phi Island and then from there we actually got, we contacted them, they arranged for a driver to pick us up at the airport to take us to the dock which was at Api Grand Marina and then you take about an hour, hour and a half boat ride to the resort um, and it was super cool super awesome um it poured the whole first day that we were there when we were traveling the boat ride there was so so bad um i mean like it was it was fun because i grew up on boats and they grew up on boats and we were totally fine like with being on boats but some like the people around us got really sick because it was raining and it was super choppy and like those people when they drive the boats like the native ties i think they're just used to the weather there um they didn't give two shits they were like whatever we're just gonna go a million miles per hour over all these boats i don't care how fast we go um yeah it was it was interesting it was super fun um and then we got to the resort and the resort was super nice um you know we were only there for we got there sunday and then we left early on thursday because we had a flight on friday out of phuket and we didn't want to just like rush everything on Friday so we left there on Thursday and you know the resort was super nice it was really relaxing but I will tell you guys that everything that you see online in terms of like the amount about saving all this money and how it's so cheap in Thailand it's not going to be that way if you go to a resort like <laughs> you can't expect that um, it was a lot cheaper than if you went to a resort in the United States or if you went to a resort in like more of a tropical, another tropical area that's around here, you might spend a couple hundred dollars per day there on, on things. I mean, it was a lot cheaper in Thailand, but it's not gonna be as cheap as you think it would be. If you stay and you're looking to go to Thailand like on a budget, um, definitely don't stay at a resort, just go stay in the town and you can definitely get meals for like two, three dollars, US dollars. You can get an entire meal for like five people, but we didn't, We it was normal prices for us because we stayed at a nicer resort uh, just because we'd never been there before. But yeah, it was super fun. Um, but um, we were definitely very happy to get home afterward. It was just a long flight. And to be honest, like we are, we like going on vacations and everything, but um, I feel like the, what, the experience that we got because we went to a resort, you could have gotten so much closer to home. Like you can go travel down to Jamaica, you can go to Bermuda, the Bahamas, anything like that and get a, get a um, an experience that's very 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 similar to what we got in thailand and not have to worry about going through customs or maybe you have to go to customs if you go to those i don't know um it's just we were very happy to get home very 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 happy to get home uh we did meet some friends over there though which was super cool i'm sorry because i'm already at 33 minutes of recording i know this is gonna be super super long i think even with recording with um, editing this out it'll probably end up being like a 45 50 minute video so i'm sorry but I'm just uploading, up, uploading. I'm just wanting to update you guys about exactly where I've been and what I've been doing. Yeah, so we were there for a couple of weeks, very happy to get home. And then once I got home, I kind of had to dig back into work a little bit. And then again, not having a computer, just a lot of things going on. So I need to say, I'm very happy to be back on YouTube. I'm gonna be uploading um, at least once a week. I'm definitely committed to doing at least once a week um, for my videos because I haven't been doing that and I keep promising that I will. So I promise that I will. <laughs> I'm gonna quickly just conceal a little bit under my eyes before I go in with my foundation because I think I'm gonna go in with my Dior. So sorry guys, I'm not really talking too much now because I wanted to get through the Thailand thing, update you about my work, what else? Um, oh, Instagram, um, in case you guys follow me on Instagram. Uh, my Instagram did get hacked uh, about a week ago, week and a half ago, so I did have to upload, uh, upload, so I did have to create a new page. My Instagram username is no longer, I think my previous one is still Meg underscore underscore who to check. My new one is just Meg dot who to check. Um, and the new one does say in the description thingy underneath that it says previous user was hacked. Um, I don't have access to my old one. So it's still active, obviously, because I can't access it. Um, I just don't have access to that email address anymore because I I don't, I don't know why <laughs> it's so old. I don't remember the password and I don't have the phone that was attached to it anymore. I have a new um, address uh, or a new phone number. So 
I just had to create a new one, which is what it is, but I lost a lot of content. Um, obviously, I lost a lot of followers, so if you guys can please go over. Um, by the way, I'm going to tell you that I am going to be using my Dior Backstage Foundation. I do have the shades 2N and 3W. 2N I got because I watched a few other tutorials. I watched Tati's tutorial, Casey Holmes' tutorial, and Kathleen Light's tutorial. And they're both, um, you know, Tati's very similar in shade to me because I do self-tan. Obviously my face is a lot lighter than my body because I self-tan, I do get spray tanned. So I kind of wanted to go off of the shades that she uses. And so I figured 2N is pretty good because I'm pretty, pretty sometimes neutral i don't like to get warmer shades because they do lean very orange very 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 orange for me but this one is really neutral and this one 3w is really warm so i figured if i mix the two it'll work out like, yes this is a pricey foundation i understand that i think it retails this little thing retails for I got it with this with the appreciation sale, so I don't know. I think it retails originally for $48. So yes, you don't need to get two. Actually go in and get color shade mat color matched. I just hate doing that. Um, plus this wasn't offered in the Sephora's that are near me, near me. I have to go to the Galleria, which is in Houston, and that's like 45 minutes away and I'm never there. So I'm just gonna mix the two. The great thing about this foundation, and I know I said I wasn't gonna ever do reviews, but I will tell you, if you guys use the MAC Face and Body or you used to use it, this is very similar, but it's a lot more matte and it is waterproof. And I love, 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 love having waterproof because it's really humid here in Houston and I sweat a lot more, so it's a lot better. Plus, this one, even though you're spending $48 or whatever the price is, 42, 48, 46, something like that, you get 1.6 fluid ounces, which is 0.6 more than you do in, in a normal foundation. Like my Laura Mercier is a standard one fluid ounce. So you need to get a lot more. I will tell you though, with these foundations, they are, because it's a face and body foundation, it is a lot more sheer and lighter coverage than an actual foundation, but this one is buildable. So just keep that in mind. Can you guys even see? The lighting's a little weird in here, so I apologize. Um, so I am sitting in front of a window, which is why if the lighting changes a lot, that is why. So I love this foundation, guys. It is lighter coverage, and obviously this thing I'm gonna have to conceal, but um, you can build it up to be a medium coverage, but it feels like nothing on your skin, honestly. I will tell you the only thing that I don't like about it is that it does have perfume in it, and as do most Dior foundations, um, which can sometimes break me out. That's not why I had this, by the way. This is just hormonal. What else has been going on in my, in my life? What's going on with you guys? Um, and you know, it's almost, it is September, so it's almost fall. Although I don't know if it ever really becomes fall in Houston, which is gonna be different for me because where I'm from, we definitely have seasons. Although I think it might still be like 90 degrees there right now, but typically I'd be wanting to get in jeans and a sweatshirt, but I'm actually cool with living. You know, as much as I complained about living in Texas so far, Sorry, I do like Texas guys, I'll tell you that. Um, I do get to wear shorts the majority of the year, which I love shorts. I'm sorry guys, I wish I had more to talk about. I feel like just because I haven't, I've been so disconnected from filming that I'm like not even a real YouTuber anymore. I don't even know what to talk about. Um, so I'm asking like, what's new with you guys? Like you can't even, like you can even answer. Yeah, I was talking about my my Instagram. Yes, my Instagram got hacked. Um, but if you do see my Instagram and you still follow me on Instagram, you'll notice I'm doing a lot more fitness related things. Um, just because I, again, have been so disconnected from YouTube and fitness has always just been a part of my life. I do live a very healthy lifestyle and I've just been trying to get a little bit more involved in that. My workouts have become really limiting recently because I just haven't had any creativity to create a new schedule. But I am training, or I'm going to train, going to start training for a fitness competition next year. I'm gonna give myself like six to eight months to actually train for it because the goals that I have are gonna be a little bit more different than somebody who might be of a different size than me. I am pretty lean um, and I am pretty lower in 
body fat and all of that, but it's going to take some time for me to build up muscle. So I'm giving myself six to eight months to do so. And I want to do a bikini fitness competition because there are different levels of fitness competitions. I'm looking really, I'm sorry guys, the light's hitting me a lot right now, but so I am going to be training for that over the next few months. I'll be updating you guys if you want me to do like what is your fitness routine, all of that. I can definitely do that for you guys, but I'll give you like an overview right now of what I do. So the past couple of weeks have been like really weird because like I said, my schedule has been really wonky and I just really haven't been in the mood um, after getting back from Thailand to do too much. So I'm finally getting back on track with my consistent fitness. But normally I do two days of upper body, two days of lower body. Um, I did get my active metabolic assessment completed. And for those of you who are newer to fitness, um, you might not know what that means, but an active metabolic assessment as well as a resting metabolic assessment tell you, well, your resting one tells you how many calories you burn at rest. Um, so if you do absolutely nothing, you're just sitting in a chair all day, you're not moving an entire day, how many calories do you burn? Um, so I got that done, which is good because with my watch, it'll tell me how many calories I burn when I'm active, just moving around and when, how many calories I burn like just by working out, which is good for me because I'm trying to pack on muscle, which means I need to eat more calories over time. But, um, so that kind of opened my eyes. Well, I mean, that didn't really open my eyes. That didn't really change too much from last year that I got it done. My active metabolic assessment though, that opened my eyes a lot. So an active metabolic assessment will give you your heart rate zones so you know like which zone you're in at what point in your workout to burn more fat versus everything else. Um, and for me, it's, too, it's not too hard. I mean, it's pretty hard for me to keep on fat, um, but pretty much I can, I'm one of those people I can either gain weight or lose weight very quickly. Um, and I mean, just weight, like I'm, I have an athletic body type or like a smaller body type. So I don't put on too much fat, but it, but it's easy for me to do so. Um, it's hard for me to like really pack on weight. But anyway, my active metabolic assessment opened my eyes because I had one done um, a couple of years ago and my heart rate zones changed a lot. And my cardio has changed a lot because I used to be a big time runner. Like I used to run five, six miles per day. And then on top of that also lift and do all those things. And I don't do that anymore. I just lift now. Um, but it's just showing me that I really need to at least start doing some sort of cardio a couple of times per week. So I'm still doing my normal two days up or two days lower, but I am gonna incorporate one day. Um, I wanna get to six total days of working out. So I'm thinking do Monday leg day, Tuesday, like upper body day. Wednesday, I'll do a HIIT training. So 20 to 25 minutes, probably just like 20 minutes, 20 minutes of HIIT trainings on the treadmill. So maybe like 45 seconds sprinting, 45 seconds rest or minutes sprinting, 30 seconds rest. I don't know yet. And then also core that day. Thursday, I'll do lighter legs, um, higher reps. And then Friday, again, I'll do upper body, but it'll be lighter, lighter um, weights, higher reps. And then Saturday, I will do... Um, active recovery. So if I want to do maybe more of a steady state cardio, I'll do that mixed with just some stretching, foam rolling, all of that. And then Sunday is always my rest day. Always, always, always. Yeah. So if you guys want me to start doing that, I definitely can. I could start uploading my fitness schedule. I just don't know how many people actually care about that, but I've been just doing more fitness related things. Um, I have also gotten in contact. Well, I haven't gotten in contact. A um, company got in contact with me. I know this looks really pigmented on camera. It's not in person, which is why I keep packing it on. Um, a brand contacted me to about their stuff. So I have that coming in. So I will be talking about their brand shortly. I'll give obviously honest feedback about the brand and how I like the clothes and all of that, but they are sending me over um, just a, a pair of their clothes, leggings and tops. So I'll let you guys know how that is. But for fitness gear, I have been loving Gymstark recently, but I've been loving their seamless attire. Um, I am normally like a Lululemon junkie, but I've just been loving, loving Gymstark stuff. It, cause you can wear an entire outfit, just um, bra and the sports bra and the leggings and you feel like you're actually covered up mostly because it doesn't show too much of your belly. 
and you know I've because my because my workout schedule hasn't been too 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 consistent over the past month I have definitely put on a little bit of belly fat not like too much belly fat people are good. I don't want people to be like oh my god Megan you're not putting on any fat like I'm not I'm not here to say oh yes I'm fat like that's not it it's just I'm used to seeing a lot more muscle in my tummy than I have been so I'm definitely getting back on track with all of that but um I love these clothes because they cover up all of that and it's a little bit tighter and more um, constricting I don't even know this word constricting constrictive I don't know than Lululemon is because I love their aligns but the aligns don't hold you in or they're not as compressive um, as Gymshark is and I like that feeling um, you know just when you're not feeling the best when you're feeling like you just maybe ate a little bit too much food the night before or you just need a little help it's just a good good thing to have so I've been loving them and I'm hoping that this brand that reached out to me I hope that their clothes are bomb as well. They look really good on the site, so I'm really excited about that. But I am almost done with this, guys. I think I'm just gonna do some lips, and then that's it. Like I said, I'm really sorry that this video is taking forever to film. I just wanted to jump back on camera, so this video might honestly be a disaster, and I'm sorry. But I just needed to kind of get my feet wet again. I will be uploading a vlog for Thailand shortly, and I'll probably post that later this week, but I am just working on that. Um, so you'll see more consistent videos from me. Oh, as you guys can see, I am, I do have eyelash extensions on. I am going to put a little bit of mascara on. For people who do have lash extensions, um, mine have been on for two weeks and they're not looking great. I go, I went to the same place that I usually go to, which is in Pearland, Texas. And you know, they just, the people I went to before were just so much better. Like these ones have been coming out like crazy. I've had them on for only two weeks and I'm like really looking like I need a full set soon. But so I've just been using this. It's the um, Maybelline Great Lash. This is um, safe for lash extensions. I mean, as safe as you can get with mascara because you're really not supposed to put anything on them. But I've been using this because it is not waterproof and it does not have oil in it. And for those of you who have lash extensions, you should not be using mascara really ever but if you need to put mascara on like mascara if you need to put mascara on like i do use one that is oil that does not have oil in it because the oil breaks down the glue on your extensions the reason i'm putting them in is because i need volume in mine and honestly at this point i don't really care if my lash extensions come out because i'm going to get a full set done again in a couple of weeks and then on bottom i am using my normal lash stiletto from i think this is maybelline as well but it's rubbed off on all sides. I will probably edit out a lot of the stuff that's in this video. So I apologize if it is super long, super choppy. But I do wanna ask you guys that if you are like supporting me throughout this YouTube journey thing that I'm doing, please like go on all my social medias, like not too much Facebook. I keep Facebook very private. I keep Facebook like very just personal. I don't really want that to be open to the public because that's like my own personal space. But um, Snapchat is always good for you guys. To, like I post a lot on Snapchat. Um, Instagram, I'm getting really good at posting on. And it is like brand, like it's brand new page essentially. So definitely go on there and support me. And then just let me know what you wanna see because I am gonna be doing a lot more fitness and beauty related things consistently now that I have a brand new laptop. Oh, on that note, let me do my lip first actually because before I really get sidetracked. So yesterday for lips, what I did was my normal ColourPop and BFF2. I have been using the NYX um, liners as well and I like them a lot. I have mauve and natural and I use those a lot but now that it's like September, fall, I'm going back on this trend and this, by the way, lasts me a long time. Like this lasted me than my actual uh, liquid lipstick did. Like the liner was still there way after my liquid lipstick faded off. Um, so yesterday when we went out for the game, I did wear this Ofra liquid lipstick in Verona, but I forgot that I had this color pop, pop one in stripped and I think I might wear this one instead. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with my ColourPop and Stripped instead. Just cause it, uh, 
Ooh, girl. Maybe not. Uh, bad choice. <laughs> abort, abort. Oh, I already have it on my lips, so I have to go for it now. Um, anyway, I really like the Ofer lipsticks. I really like Anastasia. I am sorry, guys. I am all over the place in this video. But I want to actually show you guys my my computer that I got because I love it, love it, love it. And if you are questioning whether or not to get one, I highly recommend getting one. This is the one that I got. I got the 13 inch MacBook Pro. Um, the difference here, I got the 2.3 gigahertz quad core. It's the quad core, it's not the dual core, not the quad core, um, which is what makes it, I guess, so much more expensive and more pricey. So um, yeah, guys, this is really all I have for you. I just need to put on a little bit of makeup setting spray this is the milani make it last i love it i think i'm going to go next time and get the catrice and dewy one though because i do this is a really matte foundation i need to get a little bit of dew going on all right guys so this is the final look thank you so much for being patient and getting through the entire video if you've made it this far you the true MVP because this is a long video. Um, after I edit it down, I'm hoping to get it to like 40 minutes, but it might be a little bit longer. So if you've made it this far, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys just chatting with me. Keep an eye out for my next video. It will be a vlog on Thailand. Um, also, before you leave, um, please give the video a thumbs up to like it, comment down below on what you wanna see next or after that, and subscribe to my video. And that's all I have for you guys. Thank you guys so much. Love you. Until next time.